Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Pranav Agarwal. I'm a senior software development engineer with Amazon Web Services. In this talk, I'll cover high-level overview of Amazon Personalize and its use cases. We will walk through a customer end-to-end -end journey on Amazon Personalize, uh, and we'll deep dive into one of the recently launched capabilities that makes it easier than ever to get started uh, by helping you prepare your data. We will follow it up with a short demo. And then uh, towards the end, I'll provide you uh, quick, uh, quick articles to help you start on your journey. Personalization is everywhere and something that we have all come across. How many of you have experienced personalized recommendations from your streaming service? I'm sure you have chosen your next movie or a show based on the recommendation provided by the streaming service. For example, because you watched Breaking Bad, you may have been recommended Better Call Saul. Another example is in online retail, where businesses incorporate personalization into every aspect of the user experience. For example, they may want to promote items uh, from a particular category uh, when they want to rank items based on the user interests or specify a rail which have different categorical items within its own experience. This is where we come in. This is where we help our customers using Amazon Personalize. Amazon Personalize is a machine learning service that makes it easier for any developer to create individualized recommendations for websites, apps, emails, without any ML expertise required. We support a number of use cases across several different industries, retail, m and &E, travel and hospitality, for example. One of the popular use cases in Amazon Personalize is user personalization which provides content recommendations tailored to users' profile and interests, and more likely to drive higher conversion. It's a great fit for video on demand platforms uh, like Prime Video, where you could provide user recomm uh, personalized recommendations for mov movies we think you like. Another use case is similar items, which helps discover new content for our customers, and it allows businesses to upsell specific items. People who click on this item also clicked on other items. Customers who bought this also bought this. These are, these are examples of retails where we, we see this happening uh, on a regular basis. These are just a couple of examples that I went through, but there are a bunch more use cases that Amazon Personalize supports. We, we have supported over 1,600 customers globally across different industries and making real-time personalization a reality for these businesses. For example, Equinox, which is a lifestyle brand, built their Equinox app using Amazon Personalize. This led to a 92% increase in engagement. Uh, another example is Senkusud. Uh, this is one of the largest retailers in, in Chile. They saw a 600% increase in CTRs as compared to their manual recommendation solution. These customer success stories speaks volume of the power of personalization for businesses, and we're extremely glad to be part of their journey. That was a quick summary of Amazon Personalize and its use cases. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how it works. Broadly speaking, there are five steps to onboard to Amazon Personalize. You start with preparing your data, which is, which is what Amazon Personalize can consume. Uh, you import your data into the service, then you set up recommendations or solutions, uh, as we call it, for the use cases uh, that you have. You fine tune the model, and then you deploy your solutions to, to access recommendations via APIs. Until now, customers used to use third-party tools to prepare their data set for importing into Personalize. As part of this release, we have simplified the process of data preparation by integrating Personalize with SageMaker Data Angular. Data Wrangler helps customers complete each step of a data prep workflow, like data selection, cleaning, exploration, or visualization from a single visual interface. The quality of data matters a lot in data preparation because that affects the model training directly. And uh, providing this interface early on helps customers identify issues in their data so that when they onboard, when they import data into Personalize, they can focus on just tuning the model and moving forward with retrieving recommendations.
for the rest of the slide uh, of the talk i'll focus on uh, the step 1 which is about preparing the data and how this integration makes it seamless for our customers to prepare their data we will cover these through our demo as well but on a high level the following are the steps involved we start with identifying data set requirements like user interactions your catalog of item metadata or your user demographic data you then pretty much pull your data from your sources be it in redshift snowflake athena s3 uh, and then you apply transformations on them these transformations are typically for cleaning data sets uh, and and then once you are happy with that data set you import it into amazon personalize the 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 integration with data wrangler allows you to do all these steps using a visual click interface all right let's let's dive in into the demo so this is the home page of amazon personalize uh, many of you have, might have already seen this uh, the first step is really creating a data set group but we will start from an existing uh, data set group uh, we'll click on test demo 2 uh, now in this page you will see that uh, it allows you to import any of the three data sets that amazon personalize supports uh, we'll click on import item data in this you've seen two options uh, one is when you already have your prepared data you would like to import it from s3 uh, the second option is to prepare your data using data wrangler and then import it into uh, personalize uh, this is uh, we'll click on uh, import data using data wrangler sagemaker domain is a prerequisite for any uh, for a new data wrangler instance to be brought up uh, we will use an existing sagemaker domain for now and we will launch data wrangler by clicking on this button import data with data wrangler once the page opens up you will see that you, uh, there is a banner on the top which says uh, which gives you details about how to use the personalized integration with data wrangler uh, step by step uh, within the data flow you can click on import data once you click on import data you will see options of importing from third party sources wherever your catalog data is present let's click on amazon s3 i'm going i'm going to give a uh, uh, i'm going to use movie lens data set as an example for this demo uh once you click on movie lens you will see that data wrangler automatically pulls in the columns and and some values from from the data set uh we'll click on import once it imports the data set uh we would like to verify if the uh if the data data types for those respective columns are inferred correctly or not uh in this case movie id has been pulled in as numeric uh let's assume that we would like it to be string so we can just update the data type here and click on preview and update once you have done that you can add a step which is now specific to amazon personalize uh within amazon personalize we provide a new transform called map columns for a, for personalize where given a data set type and the domain we are able to help customers map their columns into what personalize expects so in this scenario uh we want item id to be movie id so with this once we add this transform you will verify you will see that the column name has been changed from movie id into item underscore id which is what amazon personalize understands once you go back to the flow you will see that uh, this visual interface uh, you have a button to get data insights on this transform data set you will select items here and then click create you have seen that there is a checkbox of run on full data in the previous screen uh the run on full data checkbox allows uh customers to run insights on the full data set not just the sample data set uh it's an asynchronous job takes a while but it looks at the whole data set to give you properties um within within the insights you will see all the different stats that data wrangler has evaluated for the data set uh to start with it can identify duplicate rows any rows which have missing values uh if one column has higher number of categorical values it will be able to identify that in the feature details section uh, so for example in this uh, you would be able to identify for genres that there are different there are 20 different genres that it identified and out of them the histogram uh, will be uh, will show how the distribution looks like 
Once you go back to the data flow and you say that, hey, I've applied all my transforms, you then click and say, I want to now add an Amazon S3 destination. This operation allows you to say that once I, once all my operations are done, where do I want my transform data set to be persisted? So you just have configured the operation. You have not really executed anything. Once you have configured where you want it to go, you then create a job for it. Once you create a job, it opens a SageMaker processing job for us. This SageMaker processing job typically takes a few minutes to run. And once it's completed, you will see that the output of the file goes into the location that you gave as a destination. Once the data, once the processing job is completed, you can go back to import item data and say that, hey, I've already prepared my data set, so I'm not going to pull it from S3. In this place, you just give your items data set some name. You use a schema to tell personalized, hey, these are the fields that you're going to see in my data set. You click on next. Then you say, I'm going to import data from S3. Give, give the job a name. Provide the path where it was, followed by the execution row. Once you're done, you just click on start import and the data set. Once you come into this page and try to import your data using S3, you give a data set import job name, provide a location, and give an IM role, and then click on start import. Once you have done that, your item data set is going to be uploaded. This concludes our demo, uh, which shows how to pull your data from your 3P data source, prepare it, clean it, get re relevant insights, and then bring it into Amazon Personalize. This is one of our customers, Obvio, uh, who use Amazon Personalize uh, to support a diverse range of their clients on the Shop Shopify platform. Uh, they, they leveraged this integration and were able to identify uh, some, some interesting issues in their data sets, uh, which they were unable to figure out before. Uh, they, they are very happy with the feature and, and they're going to use this a lot more for onboarding more clients on Shopify. We are very excited about this launch, about this new feature. Uh, you can learn more about this topic via the QR code that we have shared here. Now it's, now, now it's your turn to try. Thank you.